Hebrew speaking town, Arizat Bayit, later renamed Tel Aviv. 197. In 1915 to 1916, Talat Pasha of the Young Turks forced around a million Armenian Christians from their homes in eastern Turkey, marching them south through Syria, in what is now known as the Armenian Genocide. The number of dead is thought to be around 700,000. Hundreds of thousands were forcibly converted to Islam. A community of survivors settled in Jerusalem, one of whom developed the now iconic Armenian pottery. 198, World War I. Occupied Enemy Territory Administration, 1918 during World War I. Most Jews supported the Germans because they were fighting the Russians who were regarded as the Jews' main enemy. 199. In Britain, the government sought Jewish support for the war effort for a variety of reasons including an antisemitic perception of Jewish power in the Ottoman Empire's Young Turks movement which was based in Thessaloniki, the most Jewish city in Europe. 40% of the 160,000 population were Jewish. 200. The British also hoped to secure American Jewish support for U.S. intervention in Britain's behalf. There was already sympathy for the aims of Zionism in the British government, including the Prime Minister Lloyd George. 201. Over 14,000 Jews were expelled by the Ottoman military commander from the Jaffa area in 1914-1915. Due to suspicions they were subjects of Russia, an enemy, or Zionists wishing to detach Palestine from the Ottoman Empire. 202. And when the entire population, including Muslims, of both Jaffa, and Tel Aviv was subject to an expulsion order in April 1917. The affected Jews could not return until the British conquest ended in 1918, which drove the Turks out of southern Syria. 203. A year prior, in 1917, the British Foreign Minister, Arthur Balfour, sent a public letter to the British Lord Rothschild, a leading member of his party and leader of the Jewish community. The letter subsequently became known as the Balfour Declaration. It stated that the British government view, ed, with favor the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people. The declaration provided the British government with a pretext for claiming and governing the country. 204. New Middle Eastern boundaries were decided by an agreement between British and French bureaucrats. A Jewish legion composed largely of Zionist volunteers organized by Zdf Jabotinsky and Joseph Trump Elder participated in the British invasion. It also participated in the failed Gallipoli campaign. The Nilai Zionist spy network provided the British with details of Ottoman plans and troop concentrations. 205. After pushing out the Ottomans, Palestine came under martial law. The British, French and Arab occupied enemy territory administration governed area shortly before the armistice with the Ottomans until the promulgation of the mandate in 1920. Mandatory Palestine. First years. The British mandate, in effect, British rule, of Palestine, including the Balfour Declaration, was confirmed by the League of Nations in 1922 and came into effect in 1923. The territory of Transjordan was also covered by the mandate but under separate rules that excluded it from the Balfour Declaration. Britain signed a treaty with the United States, which did not join the League of Nations in which the United States endorsed the terms of Mandate 206, which was approved unanimously by both the U.S. Senate and House of Representatives. The Balfour Declaration was published on the 2nd of November, 1917 and the Bolsheviks seized control of Russia a week later. This led to civil war in the Russian Empire. Between 1918 and 1921, a series of pogroms led to the death of at least 100,000 Jews, mainly in what is now Ukraine, and the displacement as refugees of a further 600,000. 
This led to further migration to Palestine. 207, 208, between 1919 and 1923. Some 40,000 Jews arrived in Palestine in what is known as the Third Aliyah. 191. Many of the Jewish immigrants of this period were socialist Zionists and supported the Bolsheviks. 209. The migrants became known as pioneers, halabsim, experienced or trained in agriculture who established self sustaining communist Gaud Kibbutzim. 210. Malarial marshes in the Jezreel Valley and Hefer Plain were drained and converted to agricultural use. 211. Land was bought with Jewish National Fund, a Zionist charity that collected money abroad for that purpose. 212. After the French victory over the Arab Kingdom of Syria ended hopes of Arab independence. There were clashes between Arabs and Jews in Jerusalem during the 1920 Nebi Musa riots and in Jaffa the following year, leading to the establishment of the Higala underground Jewish militia. 213. A Jewish agency was created which issued the entry permits granted by the British and distributed funds donated by Jews abroad. 214. Between 1924 and 1929, over 80,000 Jews arrived in the 4th Aliyah, 191, fleeing antisemitism and heavy tax burdens imposed on trade in Poland and Hungary, inspired by Zionism, 215, and motivated by the closure of United States borders by the Immigration Act of 1924 which severely limited immigration from Eastern and Southern Europe. 215. Pinas Rutenberg, a former commissar of St. Petersburg in Russia's pre-Bolshevik Kerensky government, built the first electricity generators in Palestine. In 1925 the Jewish agency established the Hebrew University in Jerusalem and the Technion Technological University in Haifa. British authorities introduced the Palestine Pound worth 1,000 mils, in 1927, replacing the Egyptian pound as the unit of currency in the mandate. 216. The opening ceremony of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem visited by Arthur Balfour, the 1st of April 1925 from 1928, the democratically elected Vaad Yumi, Jewish National Council or JNC, became the main administrative institution of the Palestine Jewish community, Yishuf, and included non-Zionist Jews. As the Yishuf grew, the JNC adopted more government-type functions, such as education, health care, and security. With British permission, the Vaad Yumi raised its own taxes, 217, and ran independent services for the Jewish population. 218. In 1929 tensions grew over the Kotel, Wailing Wall, the holiest spot in the world for modern Judaism, which was seen a narrow alleyway where the British banned Jews from using chairs or curtains. Many of the worshippers were elderly and needed seats. They also wanted to separate women from men. The Mufti of Jerusalem said it was Muslim proper who land deliberately had cattle driven through the alley. He alleged that the Jews were seeking control of the Temple Mount. This provided the spark for the August 1929 Palestine riots. The main victims were the non-Zionist ancient Jewish community at Hebron, who were massacred. The riots led to right-wing Zionists establishing their own militia in 1931. The Ugunsvei Yumi National Military Organization known in Hebrew by its acronym Epsil, which was committed to a more aggressive policy towards the Arab population. 219. During the interwar period, the perception grew that there was an irreconcilable tension between the two mandatory functions of providing for a Jewish homeland in Palestine and the goal of preparing the country for self-determination. 220. The British rejected the principle of majority rule or any other measure that would give the Arab population 
who formed the majority of the population, control over Palestinian territory. 221. Increase in Jewish immigration. Between 1929 and 1938, 250,000 Jews arrived in Palestine. Fifth Paliyah. 222. In 1933, the Jewish Agency and the Nazis negotiated the Haavara Agreement, Transfer Agreement, under which 50,000 German Jews would be transferred to Palestine. The Jews' possessions were confiscated and in return the Nazis allowed the 